Chicago culture is something so very special. So geographically, Chicago sits almost like in the same place if it were a body that the heart would be. And people are just doing. Like, we're not waiting for, like, investors to come in and save us. Right. Like, we're literally creating art and music and, you know, <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. <laughs> Amen. <He knows. laughs> Uh, where do we? That road too, Yo, that's so funny. Where do you, where do we begin? You want to get your rant off? Um, y'all you know, are trash. I, all right, cool. That's how we leaving me out, even though I couldn't be there. Man, I was so busy. I was so sorry. Where, where, where do we? You know, where do we leave you? Y'all was out? on a boat on Lake Michigan, mm. <laughs> having a good time. That was Lake Minnetonka for one. Yeah, it was. That was Lake Minnetonka. Wait, y'all was out of town. Lake yeah. Minnetonka. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> y'all What's left. Break y'all left the city. Didn't say nothing to nobody. Okay, so y'all, this is what happened. <laughs> Usually there's at least 25 messages overnight. And I wake up and they've been going at it. Oh, and <laughs> Yuck. there's no pause. This is the pause this portion of the show. And so I'm like, man, my, my uh, text message is dry as hell. Lo and behold, I look on Facebook, Instagram, and this is Amon with his phone. We on the boat, yo, yo, kicking it. I'm like, oh. We do yachts. <sighs> that was definitely Without yacht. Mila, apparently. Three that hurt my hey, feelings. How many levels is on the yacht? How many levels? Three of them. Damn. I'm, I'm supposed to borrow each one? On each one. You know what? Y'all get on my phone. First of all. People were great. Mm. <laughs> Again, y'all left me out. Boats Didn't and hoes. Boats and hoes. <laughs> and I threw the most shade. I was like, I'm about to drain y'all batteries out. <laughs> like 85 different shade memes yeah, to you all. Who showed up in the chat? Oh, See, my, uh, my, my man, Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire. NBA legend, Chicago legend. How many cities was represented on that one yacht, brother? Oh, man. At least 10. Easy. I think that's easily black excellence, bro. Definitely black excellence. I'm saying black, yeah. black folks can't spoil. We can go on a goddamn yacht though. The food was See, excellent. Much. <laughs> the, the spread on the burst jerk. Oh yeah, burst jerk. Y'all see my face? I'm not happy right now. The DJ was playing some top twenty five shit. I gotta go find something ass, dope though. just to leave y'all out of. Your life is dope though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, but y'all are a part of it. You going to talk to? See, though, you can doing shit right now that we, everybody can't do. What do you mean? When you leave here, what you going to do? I'm going to the big three to do what? Uh, well, first, just to kick it. That's, that's, that's what's going that's on part today. One. That's she, part she one. She get to talk to a legend, though. You talking to Ice Cube today, correct? No, not today. When is it? Like that's uh, I don't know. Like we're setting it up. How okay. tall is he, though? For real? I don't know. I don't, I don't. I've never met Cube. These menacing motherfuckers be so short, bro. But I did get a chance to uh, talk to Bubba Wallace while y'all was on a boat. Shout out to Bubba, man. What are you talking about? Shout out to NASCAR. So Na- NASCAR, we're covering that uh, next week. Did you get your email, brother? Huh? Did you get your email? What email? Okay, that's not. <laughs> we'll have that conversation email. after. I got Google the show. That shit. Yeah, so uh, we'll be um, we'll be at NASCAR covering it in uh, in the media center, which I'm so excited about. Like Chicago is the first urban street streetcar race, and so Bubba Wallace actually throws a block club party. So um, I'll be there. Are you showing up? You coming? Uh, yeah, I was invited. Okay, yeah. So he throws this block club party for uh, families and kids to come out. It's going to be at the Dusabo Museum. Um, I believe that's going to be on the 27th. You do have to register for it. It's absolutely free. And so shout out to NASCAR and their diversity initiative. Bubba is super I hilarious. I love being black. Um, and, uh, that's, your, that's your friend now? Well, I mean. I mean, you know. Yeah, Bubba is dope. Okay, that's what's you know, I, I, I like that he's, I like how he's pulling up in Chicago. And I think a lot of people don't realize that NASCAR has already had about a decade worth of diversity initiatives to get drivers and racers like Bubba to where he is. And so I'm writing the cover story for Chicago News Weekly. It was fun on the uh, on the interview. Um, so yeah, it was a good time. Got some got some inside scoops on some of his favorite hip hop artists because- Do you care to share? We have to wait for the- uh... Y'all have to read. Wow. <laughs> is there an audio what book? The fuck? I need an audio Ain't book. no audio book. No. Nobody want to read no more, man. No, that's fine. Well, okay. Well, you won't know then. <laughs> you won't know. He knows. <laughs> no, he wasn't he doesn't ready. Know. Like, yeah. Bubba was cool, though. He was Bubba cool was mad cool. I think yeah. what was interesting, uh, so all of the, it wasn't a one-on-one, so we had to share the space with other media. And I gathered, it was a lot of sports reporters because the questions that, that we're that they were trying to ask were kind of related to the race, but Bubba was really talking about the block club party. And I think what was really important is like block club parties are or are like a staple here in Chicago. Like we will shut down one block. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, all right, if you're not on our block, you can't come eat our right. mashed potatoes. Facts. So um mashed potatoes. <laughs> you if never you know. got potatoes at your block club party, I'm not showing up. <laughs> 
the fuck out of here. You never know what's gonna come out of that house. Push your table over too, though. Yeah, I want wings. Just give me wings. Give me some wings and burgers. Grill. That's some fat shit. You you tell a lot about the about the home by the food that they bring to the block club party. What what's essential at the block club party though? Snowball stand. Some uh, ice cream truck. For do, sure. Ice cream truck. Do you need yeah. a basketball rail? You need a bouncy house. You gotta have a bouncy house. I hate bouncy houses. For the shorties. Get some of the dirty ass kids, but them kids be dirty as hell. <laughs> and then get other kids. Definitely, definitely coming, out, coming out uh, with headlights. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> no question. No, no question. Out of control. Just, no, we not coming out with no hey, headlights. And then sometimes you take it, companies, bro. They leave the bounce house up way too long. The house get the lean tonight. Somebody door back. Get their shit. Somebody door just get stole. Your kids' socks be dirty. Get your Yeah, yeah. You want to make sure you hold on to your shoe. Do you turn the hydrogen on in summertime? It's a must. You got to. Uh, no, put. we are in a drought. No. Domino oh, shit. Domino's and space for sure. Uh, but block club parties. So as kids, you Get run a whole. A, a, with kids, you run yeah. a whole block. But as adults, you go to the house that you were invited to. No, no, you sit on the porch with and, all your bottles. Yeah, but you don't travel around. So nah, remember, like up. as a as a kid, you go from like house to house, and they would everybody would just like share. What do y'all do with that one neighbor that refused to move their car from the block for the block? <laughs> you, you, you always have that one neighbor. <laughs> always one. The, there's always one that won't move their fucking car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wow, and you make sure you pull on that shit. You lean on that car, yeah. all that shit. You and you like my garage door don't open, man. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked up, man. What time does the block party actually kick off? What is the end? I know what the permit says. But what time does the block club party when actually When the person in? parks their car and when the, stops when the, the, when the police, street. when the police, you know, come through and say, all right, it's over with. And we don't show up no more for that. Yeah, so, so we, going, we going all night. It's a party. We <laughs> yeah, and, people, and people will double their cars up like, yeah, sure. no pass, go. Sure. And, and don't have no motherfucking uh, block club party close to July 4th. You getting getting M80s, you getting half sticks for the next two months. Oh, they let, they letting the blick off too. Absolutely, yeah. they should though. You gotta make sure it work. Yeah. This is for after hours. Yeah, no, yeah I remember there used day. to be like lightning bugs in Chicago, and you would catch, catch them. Oh, them shit, yeah. yeah, put them in a the jar and shit. I, my yeah. cousin used to put them on her lips. That's nasty. Well, What's I mean, wrong with her? It was glow in the dark lip gloss. That's, that's a cousin from the other side of the family. That's not this side of the family. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's different. That's not uh, that, though. Let's, but, uh, no, no, we're we going back to BLE on here. That's what I'm saying. Go, go ahead and <sighs> get that recap off, man. Get that recap off, man. Great, great event, man. Great what you event. think about you? Is that what you think? What you think about it? Oh, man. Why look, you got to rub it in my face like that? Look, look. Whoa, it, was, it, was, it was good to see all, all of my fellow cops. You know what I mean? You're not. All, my, you're, you're not all, of, <laughs> all of my. Uh, you just, you just all police my brothers, pauses. That's all, all my brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had good energy. Shout out to Chico, man. Cool guy. Chico. Everybody was cool, man. Chico Everybody funny. was cool, man. Um, funny story about him too, though. A lot of, lot of energy, man. A lot of black energy. It was dope. And then when we were at the uh, at one event, some white lady walked up like, who are you guys? What do you guys do? My man was like, man, you know, black cops. So she she really wanted to, you know, top them off and get, you know, get some <laughs> right? That's what you got from that? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> were, you the, were you the only person in this group without a gun? No. Who, who said that? <laughs> I'm saying it. You got yours? You wear jogging pants. I don't you know. Yours? Can you can you have a blicky with a with jogging pants on? I, I stay good. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right. Is nah. it a, is a harness that's on your skin or is on a, a harness, mind. bro? Mm, okay, so anyway, man, the, the event was great. It's tremendous. Yeah, boom. Uh, <laughs> 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 Trashing all of this. <laughs> you know my my application. Is, uh, I guess we'll, we'll be there next year. We'll, we'll be in Dallas next year. Who so is Dallas? We. We who? I, am I, I, tra- I travel with the you know what I mean squad man. <laughs> Yo, so am I out of this? Is, is this a we without me? You're not a cop. You, you're not. You're not. If law you law don't law. get the whole <laughs> hell out of here, neither are you. You're not in law enforcement. Okay, I have a degree. I'll take the test too. I have a degree in criminal justice. Okay? I got a this degree. Funny. You, you have a PhD, actually. Yeah, but yeah. like still, I'm just saying you're not invited. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The, the, the truth. I appreciate. I appreciate the honest man. Yeah, the truth. Kenda, it's hey. on me, baby. We, we go. We gonna do something. What part Dallas y'all gonna be in? Huh? Hey, can they have melting that Dallas heat? You can't take him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> he too little. Gotta so put the job though. on him. So it was a three-day event, man. Thursday to Saturday. Put together uh, Spearhead and orchestrated by some of Chicago's finest. And a representative. Thursday was the meet and greet at the bowling alley. Pinstripes with their racist asses. You know what I'm saying? So this was days? It was days on there. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> God damn it. It was like, wow. You went bowling too? No, no. You, know what I'm no, I you knew not. about bowling yeah, you did. No, uh, oh, he did go by. I, 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 I didn't go by. Day two <laughs> was, uh, was the boats and hose. Day two. The yacht, the three level yacht <laughs> with the DJ on each level. With, we had a couple of angels on board too, though. Three DJs, you know what I'm saying? Six bars, two strippers, a uh, pound of cocaine on the table. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was a beautiful boat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, so it was a yacht. The nightcap, beautiful yacht. Boats and hose, boats and hose. <laughs> so it was something so, after the boat too. It was a day party. So we took a break. I don't know. We got a lot of old motherfuckers in this group too, though. They needed a nap. <laughs> they need a goddamn nap. They need a nap. I need a nap. So we took a break. At night, we went back to racist ass pinstripes. Okay. Again, this is when we found out they didn't like black folks. 
We showed up the first you day. Do that, though, from, from the land. They knew we were cops. <laughs> they knew we were black cops. Ooh, they found that shit out, though. The second time, they found any and every little thing wrong. Your mic is too loud. People aren't dressed correctly. Uh, now, food stay on that. All kind of other shit. All no kind of dog shoes. whistles. Yeah. But the first night, they took the sister to talk to us, though. The little black on the black. Messenger thing. matters. Bitch, get your ass out of here. We see right through that bullshit. She's trying to keep our it's job. It's cool, though. Uh, you know when it gets down to me, having to politic for an entire group of people, you have reached the last line of defense. And it came down to me because the people that were talking weren't hearing each other correctly. So I had to step in, put my foot down, say, hey, I got the biggest dick here. Both you bitches move. I got this. <laughs> we're going to move and shake and get this thing done, you know? Did you Fuck really say that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Don't care what I say. Uh, <laughs> but the second night of Pinstripes was a comedy show. Stand you. They gave us a terrible space. Wait, but, wait, 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 wait. Huh? It wait. Gets worse. Look, <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait a minute. So it was bowling, a boat. <laughs> it was a comedy show? Yeah. Hey man, oh, y'all are the oh, worst man. people in the world. The worst, isn't he terrible? Did you hey. take off work? Absolutely, absolutely not, man. Oh, okay, all right. I was not there. This was man. he late for work? I was not there. He was working. He was hired. I wasn't there. Don't believe him, man. Let's Why not? Why would you not believe it though? You know what I'm saying? Your cause is a lie. Starch defender. Of he didn't go. He didn't go on the corner convo one. podcast telling everybody what I he was not. doing. I did not. All right, go ahead. Continue. So we sent everybody in the asses home. Uh, the next day, <laughs> at, one, at one o'clock, we were on the beach at the Shore Club. Like some y'all bosses. went to Shore Club, shy? Yeah, we did. We had to. We had to. I'm, I'm about to get yeah, and walk lots, off. <laughs> lots of tacos, chicken tacos, vegetarian tacos. Man, Ooh, I like that froze. You know, they show was, was And fire. I got free parking at Lincoln Park Zoo. We was working though. That's crazy. First of all, I, really I, I put working. that in the chat. I was like, "Hey, let me know," and nobody responded. I must have missed that shit there. When? What was it? What was it? You know what? <laughs> I, I got receipts. Though, man. Okay. But that was, it was beautiful to see. Uh, the youngest cop there was 26. The oldest cat, yeah, I don't even know how old he was, but this one dude been on a job for 38 years. I'm like, damn. You, you get active duty? You are really, really paying them to come to work now. You know what I'm saying? Take your ass home. Retire. Go golfing. Yeah. Go fishing. Go do something. You know what I'm saying? It was beautiful to see all these black people come out from all over the country, man. Florida represented. Wait, so this Memphis. was a national? Yeah. <laughs> Florida represented. Tennessee represented. Georgia. Texas represented. Mississippi. Georgia Yo, represented. I even asked you to let me write the story. Like, I wanted to put that in the paper. I must have missed all that shit, though. That would have been the best cover story, dude. Yeah. Colorado represented. Chicago. Shot down. The safest places the on building. the lake this past weekend. It was with us. Yeah, we was. Well, I, I wonder, Everybody like, strapped if, if, if did anything pop off in North Avenue? Because nah. usually it's like, why? You know why, though? Also, because Castaways is shut down, too, though. Because we modeling. Oh. So there's a lot of shit that, that, that come there. Usually when I be working, one of my, it's my fourth job. You know what I'm saying? It's my fourth gig. It usually comes that way. We send it out somewhere else. It wasn't there. Did y'all have all the short club shy? Like even half the, of even, like okay, half, so, half, about half of So them not the cabanas on the outside? We had the cabanas. That's what we had. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. and the, yeah. It's a yeah. beautiful, beautiful cool. spot. New Orleans. Hey, we good. worked that white bitch to death, though. Y'all only had one side? Oh, she was the manager. She, she would bust a whole fourth quarter sweat. It was hot. They, <laughs> they, they, they hump at that. I'm uh, telling you something about police, spot. though, man. We are some needy motherfuckers. Some complaining people. We don't read. We don't follow it. instructions. Y'all spoil the fuck. We don't do anything. And I love you guys. I All of you guys. guys, I love y'all. But you motherfuckers don't listen. We are so glad to committed. You motherfuckers <laughs> is going home. We love you, Nip, though. We, so we are so happy that y'all going to the fucking crib. Take y'all ugly ass back home. <laughs> Detroit, go home. Detroit, go home. Detroit, 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 go Detroit, home. Detroit, Detroit, go Detroit home. was way deep in the building. De- Detroit, funny as hell. Yeah. Texas, Texas was strong, too. Though. Texas, Texas take y'all ugly asses home. We had one long member from Colorado, but she was a bodybuilder. She was hella cool. Oh, well, uh, Maryland was in the building, too. Maryland right? was in the building. DMV. Be more. Yeah, be more. Take y'all old. They were so old. Yeah, yeah. Baltimore was so goddamn old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boy, I see where y'all crimes got high. <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't saying that nobody, bro. so y'all. wrong. <laughs> so Woo! And then, the Chicago group, man, the youngest guy is Donnell, Donnell man. Shout out to Donnell. He maybe 27, 28. Everybody else 40 plus, man. Look here. And you see why crime is high in Chicago, too. We looking like, we going to watch you motherfuckers go and do what y'all do. Bye. <laughs> now, here, here's, my, here, here's my question before we leave that though. Great weekend. Um, Boo. <laughs> boats and hoes. Did boats you, and hoes. Did you promote this to your Chicago people? Dear DeCoven, you lying motherfucker, you. Dear DeCoven. All that light skin shit you be on? <laughs> tell them you, you want me to call him? You want me to call him? You don't have to. Okay. Uh, when we did all the voting, the, the shit for the voters, for the mayor, mayors and the... Uh, all about politicians, we work together. He my sergeant, that was funny as hell. Yeah, it's saying. hilarious. It's, it's, it's hilarious as fuck, man. <laughs> so I told that man, every time I saw him, Joe, black event coming up, get down. I told my cousins, Rod, Reggie, uh, Jelani Johansson was there. I told Javaka, federal agent. 
I told everybody about it. Orson, Ice, everybody. Nobody showed up, you motherfuckers. Don't worry about it. We all see these, these clips of boats and hoes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they could have read it, it in the paper, but you know, you left me out too. <laughs> it's not my opinion. It is, we, bro. What you doing? We have nothing to do. All right, so can we can 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 we can we be fair? And who who would I talk to? I don't want to. So I don't want to not put this in the paper. I, I got like, to tell you off camera, okay? It's, what, it's, 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 it's well, yeah, no, story. no, no. I just I just want to like how, know the bitches how, don't like each other. How <laughs> what the cities like the cops mm-hmm. are beefing? I'm talking about gender wise. Not that bitches are female, but you know, women don't like each other. Women are maybe catty. They are. So but, uh, go ahead. Uh, well, continue. no, what I'm saying is like that's a great story. Oh, I feel yeah. I feel like to to bring to bring yeah. that energy to Chicago, the places and that you yours, are. We got, we got videos. And, and you know what I mean? Like, like, it makes, you're more than the corner combo, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I want I want to show the photos. I God, want, like. I, and I think our community needs to see that uh, there's what some there's some fe- there's some fellowship between uh, you know people who are in it law is. enforcement yes. and yeah, they know how to kick it. Yeah. They do patronize. They come out. like It's a part of our economy. It's a beautiful story. They are human. You know what I mean? What, what's, yeah. the, what's the highlight of the weekend for you? Uh, only the boat. The boat, that's all. You know. Fuck out of here. The yacht. I'm sorry, not the boat. <laughs> yeah. Correct it. Big yacht. You know, um, big, big stairs. You know what I mean? Big yacht energy. Big stairs. Yeah. Big Champagne. Yacht. Hey, Did you go to all three floors? All three. The drinks were free, right? <laughs> oh, yes. But, but Buddy didn't have what I wanted. Drink wise, so when it was over, with, I stole shit off the bar. He did. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you just What's wrong with I you? I was a woman purse in a heartbeat. <laughs> You're looking at me. I, I do this. I stole shit off the bar. I got it in the car still. Don't worry about it. <laughs> they won't get it back. Damn. <laughs> they're, not, they're not missing it. I cannot stand you. You are not welcome in my home. <laughs> I'm still sick. I'm in your medicine cabinet. I'm going to say, I'm a, I'm a say, I'm a say you the perfect person to set up. Because you know you're going to look like mm-hmm. whatever, like put whatever in there. Confetti, scare the shit out of you. And you got, you got cups and kisses. Hug them on cup. I'm going to your cabinet to see what's up there. It's, it's dusty. Because some people have dishes up there to be dusty as hell. I'm, judge, I'm judging too on top of that. I'm judging everybody. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so, y'all get on my nerves. Well, I'm glad everybody had a good weekend. Let's look, without me. We missed you though. Yeah, man. I'm glad you're back, man. Lies didn't tag me in nothing. You rehired. <laughs> I was never fired. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> your, your contract has been extended, man. Don't worry about it. All right, man. Let's let's, let's, uh, let's get to the shit. It's about the good times, though. We had good times um, before we get to the bullshit. It's been a long, long, long weekend, man. A uh, long week, two actually. weeks. Long two weeks. Um, Summerfest was crazy. Okay. Summerfest was fun. Summerfest um, was tremendous. I'm not going to shit on Summerfest. A, those are my guys. Which means you... Sh- okay. Th- those are my guys. Okay. Um, Fway. Shout out. All our guys, brother. You know what I mean? Kenday, everybody, right? Kenday. Um, great event. Great this event. was the second year it was in the Plaisance. Yes. And, and at Plaisance. this scale, right? Say it again. Right? Say Plaisance again. Plaisance. Damn. Yes. Shit was amazing. French twist to it, too. <laughs> she, was really, she was really amazing. Now, I was reading some comments, man, and just... This is not my personal what opinion. What these comments were saying? Um, people were concerned with the price point, right? That's, yes. a fair, that's a fair point, but you got to pay for what you want. Um, exactly. You got to pay for quality. You, I mean, again, look at the guests. We're talking clips. We're talking um, 2 look Chains. Him, 2 Chains. Look Turn him. up 2 Chains. Uh, Toby. Robert Chicago's Glassman, finest, right? bro. Uh, and it's, and it's on, in, in a public park. Yep. Right? So what's the price point for Lala? Permits and shit. Shutting shit down. Isn't it about the same? Like, if we think about Probably. Lala. Probably, yeah. right? So right. it leads me to this point. Like, I need, I need my, my community, right? I need y'all to understand that just because somebody's your guy and he's doing it does not mean that you get in for fucking free. Yeah, what is that right? about? Real cool support sometimes. Real support is actually paying, right, to help your brother out. Did you pay yesterday? Hell yeah. Pay the day before that? I was only there one day. You, gonna, you think you slick? <laughs> yeah. No right, I'm, I'm watching. <laughs> I thought you weren't here. <laughs> Won't get me. <laughs> you <the> <laughs> I'll see what you're doing. Okay? Now, <laughs> Stay um, safe, King. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, no, people people complain about the price point. I, at the end of the day, you ha- you got the money, spend it, right? Swain, mm. Swain and his team, man, have come together to put on for the city. And the first thing that we do as black people is complain about it, right? It was a beautiful event from the vendors to the the sponsors to the the entertainment. I have a problem with everybody complaining about. Some money, but you'll go, you'll go spend some money with the white folks and not complain about it. You go to Papa Do's and they say you get this lobster for market value, market price. You gonna pay that shit though, and I am trying to impress somebody. Right. You get that same right. lobster tail at Mariano's for ten dollars. Ten dollars, right? Well, and they, they're cooking for you too. But you pay for the ambiance. <laughs> That's true. And you, I mean, you pay, you pay for your ego. And so, one, it is not cheap to do business in Chicago. If you, if 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 you're right. an owner operator, if you have property, you already know it's not. It takes money, takes money, money to make money in this city. 
that. And I think uh, for me, watching everybody's commentary it, about the price point, it wasn't the price. It was they're a part of the legacy of how this event began. And so there was a lot of tension. It used to be free. It yep. used to be small. Yep. It used to be in High Park. It used to, be, used to be used to be used to. Now she not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> not your mama, though. No, no, sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all, T. <laughs> <laughs> but but there, I, th I feel like people were kind of like uh, the thing that they loved and built a relationship with and like could wrap their mind around. And coupled with that, Silver Room Block Club Party did the same thing, right? It, it was, happened already? Well, no. no, it didn't happen. Oh. But I'm saying like it started in that same space. Yep. It started in High Park, started small, and then it outgrew it. And that was like their second location because they were up north, right? Yep. And then they came. So I think that yep. we're, we're, so, we're a part of a living legacy and transitioning isn't easy. Right. But yo, the fact that they got to pay security, they got to pay permits, they got to play cleanup, they got to do insurance, they got to yep. make sure the stage the, the is right. Gates, Every the single permits. person in there. Yep. I, the fact that we don't hear about nobody saying that I ain't got paid yeah. from this event, like they create an entire economy. They leverage their businesses and their capital. And honestly, they're a North Star for what many of us should be thinking North about. Star. Doing. Like if you're a fashion designer, where where's your fashion show at? And how is it that we can make sure that people are coming in to come rock with you? So I love it. And they moved out the way. So my little festival can can kind of take full up fest. Some yeah, full fest. Don't whisper, on, don't whisper that shit. Shout that yeah, shit. Yeah, full fest on, on July 1st. And I told Swain that. I was like, look, thank you for getting bigger. Because oh, you oh. you taking advantage of Wait the fact that you Wait, have grown a creates a, a lane open for somebody who wants to step in it. And now we can share the share the space. But I'm super proud. It was a lakefront event. Uh, um, it's our side of town. And what? how about support these I'm parks West, and not pay $199? We got one of the dopest parts of the city. We got two golf courses, a <clears> nine <throat> hole and an 18 hole, two black hey, boat uh, marinas. Inner Harbor, 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 and Outer Harbor. We got a lakefront driving range. We got a dog park that's on the lake. Like Southside is amazing. We got beaches bulls. and restaurants on beaches. Like my thing go, is this, go out man, there like, anyway. Show up, like, because what's going to happen if, if they decide that he doesn't want to do it anymore? They, what if he they, takes they, it somewhere else? They'll find some shit to do. Don't worry about it. I, you guys killed it. Y'all did everything. But let me great job. Let me be the voice of the people that were complaining. I understand the complaint of from free to maybe fifty bucks to damn it two hundred bucks. I get it. No, that's, that's a tad drastic. But you pay for quality. You pay for what you want. I do get the complaints of parking. Parking was ass. But we're smart. But you know, you have to do recon at events like this, though. You have to find out where you can do the first day, where you park, <coughs> and then double up the second day, you know. So I understand the inconvenience of parking. Uh, where you park at? I parked on 59th. Hey, 59th and Alice. Alice, Alice baby. It was oh, for the win. For the, for the for win. The free throw <laughs> right there by the gate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then for... The it VIP is a lounges spot. and shit. It is the VIP lounges. Though I, I get it, man. If I'm paying, if I'm paying money to get in, I think I should have access to all these things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all did stretch the VIP area. Y'all, y'all wore the VIP term out. Y'all did. I get it though. You gotta make what you put in. You have to make back. People don't understand how long it takes to plan an event. Like to plan a one day event, about six months at least. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So imagine something for two or three days for forty thousand know people. But it, it's crazy. So I, I get that, but you know. We talk about people that don't understand business, that don't, don't understand networking, don't understand <laughs> politics, don't understand policing, you know what I'm saying? That's terrible. Uh, don't understand anything at all, but... So I understand the complaints. I get it, because I'm a complaining ass Negro myself. I will find something wrong with heaven if I get there. I'll fucking complain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you be mad at heaven? Uh, huh? Your wings too little? Probably too, too cool. Too cool. Too cool. What, what the drama at? I got to keep socks on my feet all the time. I, I like wearing socks. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Ain't no socks in yeah, heaven. No socks in heaven. That's, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That's White socks, black, <laughs> black socks, Chicago white socks, you know what I'm saying? But it's, uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful man and. I respect everybody that came out, still spent their money, man. So I think what we can hope to do for next year, let's get in, let's get in tune, let's get in tune with uh Swain and Pop and do a little more promoting. And I wouldn't be mad if they brought the price down a little bit to include more people, but also to keep those that they want excluded. Because everybody, some people ain't going. If you charge somebody 70 bucks, they're not gonna come out. So I think that's, where, that's a fifth of Hennessy and a bag of weed and you know what I'm saying a, a bag of magnums and some shit. Nah, bro. I, 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 I disagree. No I think I think it's way too much money in Chicago. Ain't nothing to agree disagree with, bro. It's just a matter of no, opinion. That's fine. And I'm disagreeing with your opinion. <laughs> okay. At the end of the day, there's too I much. I don't disagree with short people, bro. We in the same conversation, bro. We not. They okay, uh, officers of the law. We don't. I'm yeah, gonna need true. for you all to settle down. I don't want to talk to short people. Y'all, what are y'all doing? Fucking fun, bro. I'm tired of short people. You motherfuckers, I'm walking around, bro. I hate seeing short people in public, bro. Y'all getting the fucking way. They get in the goddamn way, bro. I turn around. You I only see people, bro. Get them. I only see these motherfuckers, dog. It's like, come on, bro. Get move. Them. Like, at Woodlawn, bro. At Woodlawn, uh, Karita, cool ass, bro. I'm getting drinks for everybody, bro. I turn around. 
I'm gonna drop all my shit because this bitch is all of four feet one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> boom! Uh, Not that she's a like bitch. Speed, she like a speed bump. Cool. Come on, man. And Mike, Mike sat there and laughed. That's not funny. Spend your money. Peter, make all your drinks over again. Spend your fucking money. It was your drink. It was your drink. almost killed the way you're laughing. It's too. <laughs> it's too much hard work and effort that goes into pull something like that off, and then for y'all to not show up the way that Spend y'all your money on what you want. That's, that's, that's fair. fair. That's, that's fair. what I'm saying. So, if, so why, why are we disagreeing there? If that's if that's the case, I don't I don't, I don't mind I don't <laughs> I don't mind the conversation to bring the price down, but I think now it's talking about sponsorship. Uh-huh. Right. So if that's something that we See? if we if we thought it was important as a corner combo to make these prices accessible, are we willing to say, yo, um, who do we know that can pay 50% of people's tickets? That right. are corner combo people. So rocking with us, we bartered and brokered that conversation and deal. So if you if you're with us, this is your ticket fee. So I do think that again, I like that. this is yeah. every everybody sure. has to has to play their part in making sure that this is successful because it should be. We shouldn't be mad that we now have it should a, have evolved in what you're Yeah, that we got through. that we got something that is at a price point. And also how much are you paying for the experience? Because you're paying for security. You're paying to make sure you have water. You're paying to make sure that you have access to every toilet. You're paying to make sure the technology works. Like it's not just the acts. You right. are in, you are an investor in it as Those well. And so for a company that dropped $75,000 to make sure that their name was up there, right. us investing when you when you break it down after you take out parking and security and insurance, we might have honestly paid only twenty five dollars for the performance. Right. Well, Lil Kim's gonna work twenty five dollars, so I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was uh, right <laughs> to left? Right to left. What was your favorite food there at Summerfest? Oh, the shrimps. <laughs> oh, shout out to Harris. Claire, shrimp. Claire's or what was it called? Harris. Harris. What's Harris your Gulf shrimp. Your favorite? Definitely the uh, fried lobster on a stick. Oh. Yeah, so I, I enjoyed the chicken tips, bro. I did. Oh, oh shout, tips, shout, shout, you know what? Shout out to my man Maxi, man. Them chicken tips, fire. That's my man from work. I'm coming back. Was Moore's. this the jerk one? Mm, nah, regular. He's right Max by Morris. Shout out to Morris too, man. Uh, so y'all, y'all killed the tip. Y'all, y'all tip was love. Morris, Morris had it on lock for the. Uh, oh my god, they had their emancipation ball on Friday night, uh, right. which was uh, on the on the river. You um, you went to that? I did go to that. I didn't go. Why not? Uh, well, don't, because, don't fall for that shit. You try, you try to do. Yeah, don't, bolts and holes, baby. Bolts don't and holes. Front, check, check out the uh, six fourteen <laughs> edition of Chicago News Weekly, where I wrote the cover story you on did. Moore's Brewing, you did. and so uh, that was um, Chicago News Weekly was there, and it was kind of like like the who's who. DJ Envy was rocking it, and what was so funny, you you knew you knew he wasn't a DJ from Chicago. Oh my goodness. He was on his New York shit? Well, no, no. You got excited. Yeah, that's my nigga. My God. You see how kind of group he is, though? <laughs> he got DJ Envy's had it on his back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Payback. Next nigga's Don't fix that. Take that in. Don't take that out. You got DJ in the trap stand, bro? For real? <laughs> my man, bro. Am I missing something? He got Benny the Butcher. <laughs> right on his, <laughs> right on his biceps. <laughs> Y'all done? Y'all done? No, not really. Not really. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what was your favorite stage? Uh, the main stage, for sure. I'm, I'm going to disagree with myself. I thought that at first. But then, bro, the stage back left, they had film on it. They also played Chicago Jukeloosie, bro. They had the yeah. most. Oh, that was Bulu. That was Bulu. They, they had yeah. that shit lit, dog. Yeah. They were on we, the we south. The My old ass was walking over there to get to the party. The party ended. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout, shout out to Bulu for killing that. Um, Absolutely, man. We did talk about who should have been on the main stage. Yes. Uh, I do believe Cashier should have been on the main stage. Phil Moore should have been on the main stage. Um, Phil definitely. DJ Cashier. Bulu should have been on the main stage. Absolutely. That's legendary yeah. shit, bro. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure who, who was in control of the staging and, and the time and all that, but uh, shout out to Jay Ella. He, he, he went in too. What was your favorite act? What was your favorite act for the weekend? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, the Chicago set was was everything for me. I was kind of in and out, so um, yeah, you you weren't there. Shout out, shout out to Gate Fourteen. <laughs> That's why she always got fired right there, though. She said, "I'm going home. I'll be right back." We saw it the next I, day. I, I did, did well, but, I, but I had I, I had other functions to do, and I felt like when I, good, yeah. when I when I when I left uh, on day one, I went to the United Negro College Fund um, uh, fundraiser, and it was packed in there with a prep winkle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Cook County Board Commissioner Tony Preckwinkle taking pictures, kissing babies. Um, so it was fun meeting her, uh, but it was filled with, uh, again, black excellence. So to go from a space outdoors, knowing that, you know, these are my people, and then go into a space, you know, for a fundraiser for the United Negro College Fund, literally on the same day, I'm like, we have 
so much room oh. to celebrate and to be present in this city on the same weekend and it's not competition. But then I thought people are probably going to come to day two or they were there earlier. Right. Um, and I was really proud that I made both of them. Um, and shout out to everybody who went to a HBCU or a minority serving institution or can read. was, you know, one of the few black people at a PWI. <laughs> Education is so important. Um, and you end up with, uh, you know, really, really great experiences. But uh, Roger Carter was there. Uh, the Cubs got honored. Roger Carter. Uh, artist Roger Carter. That's my boy. Yeah. Robert Morris. Robert Morris College. Yeah. Roger, he swear to God, he's the finest motherfucker on earth. Roger is super smooth. He, he, he swear to God, he's the finest motherfucker smooth. on earth, too, though. That's my, he's super smooth. He swear he got the best job shot on earth, too, though. You do. <laughs> he's so funny. You do ride big rides. Rod, oh. Hey, fuck you, Rods. And so, that's from Meats and that's from Dre. Uh, another thing, uh, the other day I went to Viola. Davis. Um, <laughs> Viola, the, um, I can't help saying I'm sorry. I know the, the <laughs> cannabis company. They're they're opening in Broadview, so their ribbon cutting is Broadview. Third. Their ribbon cutting that is third. Ass place. Don't do that. Broadview's ghetto as hell. First, they got the first black woman mayor ever in history. That's true. We gave her they black, have a black village. Broadview's they got a, a, a black uh, village manager, and they uh, they were favorable to make sure Al Harrington and uh, Dan were able to open. And so, still, still trash. Uh, Roger is actually Al a ball player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's his company. Yeah, yeah it's his company. Um, he he named it after his grandmother. Mm -hmm. And so, Roger is uh, actually doing doing the art in uh in their Broadview. Get uh, his ass up, man. Let me hit him up, see what see what's happening. Yeah, there. I can't wait to see it. So uh shout out to Viola and everybody who was at the investors uh you dig at Museum of Contemporary Art. Um Sean Mack was spinning. It Sean was a lot Mack. of people from out of town, a lot of uh ball players. Nobody got and, robbed. Yeah, nobody got robbed. Hey, the art was don't, don't believe what the fuck y'all hear on the news, all right, y'all. Chicago's pretty safe. Be, before we leave this too, I gotta I gotta give a big shout out to uh the Woodline. Uh, their block party. We yeah. were, we were booking busy for that. Clink, 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 um you know what Rika I mean? Sh and shout, uh, shout out to Don, Rika. Donnie. Shout out to Donnie. Um, shout out to the to 79th Street. You know what I mean? No bullshit. Um, on the nine. Shout out to the white boy. Uh, the road oh, uh, Jake. <laughs> shout out to him. Jake, yeah. Shout, shout, shout out to him. You let him apart. Let me let me be, let me be honest though, right? When he the, grabbed the mics and was like, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I feel him. I feel him because when the sun went down, mm -hmm. okay, it was dark outside. The vampires came out. And Jake the, is and, that dude. No, though. and the police left. That's when I ex exited stage left. It was time to go. What, what's it's still, there, bro? It's still the nine. It's still the nine. Yeah. You know what what wait, uh, you, you, look, yeah, I it. left and I see Amon on live on the stage. I'm like, how did you migrate? How did you, how did you, he always finesse his way. People, people know me, man. They, they, they know the Why don't people know me. us? Y'all were Every time I turn around, you're on the stage. See, Shorty was asking, was that from uh, Bar 16? <laughs> yeah, I saw Some skewers yeah. and shit. Shout out to Mr. Mike, Mr. Duwell. Mr. Duwell's out there with the great slanging drinks. drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Slanging drinks. Slanging yeah. drinks with the weed. He is, he is a sip slanger. Yeah, yeah. Was a sip yeah. slanger. <laughs> but <laughs> the team in the April was funny as hell, though. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't never gonna let that shit down. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was it was a great weekend. Oh, and all the other podcasts that share the space. Yes, so Herbie too and easily, easily offended. offended. Uh press play. Yeah, um the A Lot play. podcast was in the building. Shout out to Jamie. Yeah. Jamie Blues are coming up. What day? July 15th at Chicago's finest marina. Tickets are twenty dollars bro. It's very hard for me not to say that. Right. Yeah, I used to call him that too. Somebody had to correct me. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's let, let's get into what the fuck been going on get in Chicago, man. Some too. some been not it's a whole lot been going on, but this particular story has uh Chicago in the uproar. Uh, we're talking about the mother that told her son to go get the strap hmm. and right. shoot and kill this this guy. Now, prior to this, everyone's saying she's a terrible mom. She is. Um you know, it was unfortunate. But what we didn't know is that the guy that her son shot had stole on her two or three times in the restaurant. So that video. What do you mean you didn't know that? Didn't like, know that's, that. What, that's what it was about. Well, well when I saw the video. <laughs> that, no, that, that's, when I, that's when I saw the video. The first video I saw was just. Oh, you didn't you know, get the whole yeah, story. Right. You just thought it was like. Right, oh, like, yeah. damn, she wilding, right? Now. I'm 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 gonna be very very very. very yeah, wild, right? yeah that was it was in, that was not okay. I saw a post where someone says that the guy didn't deserve this. Um, you know we have to do better. Yada yada yada. Fists deserve pistols. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. First of all, why are you still on this woman? Right. This is a, this is a whole grown woman. Why why are we hitting this woman? And it was a man there that didn't step in. Why should he? I feel that, but are, are we protecting our black women? That's a whole other conversation. You, you got a real story outside of Jack Grill, so shut up. Yeah, for sure. Shut up, bro. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, so I get it. Yeah, I get sure. it. I definitely get it. Um, but you mean you get like why people choose not to intervene? Absolutely. And, just, and like straight, got it. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, because at the end of the day, he died. Girl on girl, guy on guy, any, any confrontation, you have to be wise about how you yes. engage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
it's, especially if I don't know you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fair. Um, I'm, I'm only willing to die. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only willing to die for my family and, and people I consider fam. That I actually, and I ain't gonna die for all of them. In fact, true. You know what I'm saying, I'm the guy. Big picture. That's you, know. shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> <That's> a, oh, <laughs> yeah, spirit of discernment. It's the truth. Now, here, here, here's the where spirit of discernment. <laughs> yeah. The fact that you can tell your son, "Go get the strap." And he knows exactly what that means and, and what to do with it at 14. So what, what type of time you on, bro? How, how have you been raising this boy? There we go. You, uh, when, I, when I thought about the obedience of a child, right? Where we say, honor that's, your mother points, and your father. Um, do what you're told. And he did. Right? And so uh, for, for me, it was kind of sad because I can remember... Uh, dealing, oh, with a, dealing, dealing with a guy <laughs> as a, as a I can remember dealing, dealing with a guy as a teenager and uh, him saying that his mom would come home and and hype him up like this dude that did, did this you need to do that toxic parenting right and so we've seen this time and time again that and, and it's on this is my perspective and I feel like I know I'm I catch heat when I say things about women um sure. I've I've seen us weaponize our relationships with men. Whether it's the cousin that you know will pop off or it's your brother or your father or the police. We've seen evidence of like, he's hitting me. He's hurting me. And the dude is holding the camera like, I'm not touching you. Yeah. Right. Like, because we can we can play around with stereotypes of like black men are, are super aggressive. But to know Buddy was 14 years old. He just graduated eighth grade, eighth grade Straight to the jail. Now. Come on. A little over five thousand days old. <laughs> Why you do that? That's great because math. Because when That's I think when, math. no, when, when I when I think about it, like five thousand days on this earth is not a lot. Not and a lot. when you have somebody who you love, who takes care of you, who nourishes you, who treat who treats you well, g's you up, you do what they say do. You know, like my 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 shorties will. I know if I tell my kids to be mad at that person because I want them to be mad at it because they rock with me and I do all the things and pay all. They're gonna follow suit. So what's unfortunate is like. This woman was being hit. If you're the manager or the owner, why aren't you calling the police? Huh. She did not call the police. She called her son. her son. This is par for the course on some level. When her son heard, I'm in trouble, he didn't call the police. He was not educated to like, his mom never told him like, hey, if I get into a jam, I need you to call the cops. Well, come get me and pull me out of there. Right. Don't come shoot a motherfucker. Yeah, but she but telling, telling him what to do, yeah. that was an extension of her. She could have very well been like, run me to peace. It's at the crib. Bring it here. Because I've actually done that. Like, I've gotten wow. into something. I never asked you nobody bet. to handle my dirt. I made a call. I'm like, I need that right now. Right? Luckily, I was talked I was talked down off of it. But I never I never asked anybody to do anything for me. It was, uh, I'm, about to make, I'm about to make a decision. So I wonder, yep. you know, what happened in that moment where she felt that she couldn't, she had to put that on him. But you never know when people are in right. duress. And it's unfortunate. This is why I feel entire stories, whole story. I'm a, I'm a big believer now. <clears throat> I always have been, but I've been called a hater for this. Tell them whole stories. Like, we made a hoochie daddy things. hater today. Ooh, talk about it. I got, I got short shorts <laughs> got than this. Me out. I got some great ones. Ooh, my my fucking head spin, got that. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Legs twice a week, don't he? You got to. Do do bread. Nah, man, you know, you, you have to tell whole stories. Like, I, I'm getting disgusted seeing men online trying to look like they want to protect women. Talking about something. I done did it for my mama, too. Yeah, fam, if you had to do it for your mama, you and your mama in the wrong place already. Y'all making the wrong decisions already, bro. Y'all stupid. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't get to that point. All right. Uh, I got advice for women. If a strange man that you don't know is telling you shut the fuck up before I hit you, guess what? Be the fuck quiet. Don't, it's not, it's not, it's not breaking your spirit. It's not you being a pussy, not you being a coward, you being smart. People are wrapped tight out here. People are not wrapped tight. People are yeah. mentally unwell out here. You don't know what the man could have did. What if he said, what if he just said, shut up before I shoot you? Things should kept yapping. Now, watch the video. I had to watch it several times. You know, I don't agree with hitting women. I don't. This is a woman you don't know. Uh, what, That's the So was it accurate that the part of the story, like the, the man was with another woman and the his lady, girlfriend. his girlfriend was laughing? She was laughing. So I say this, if, if my man is into it and talking greasy to a woman, I'm definitely intervening. I am in front of her. You, were, you wouldn't be see. That's, that means you I am, I am, in, I, am in, I am in front of her. Like, like hey, people get together. You doing you doing together. way too much. She she's not worth whatever I, whatever right. I have to do to move him out the way. You know, uh, and when I when I think about situating like, dear black men, if sis never tries to de-escalate you, 
You have to know when they're, they're when <laughs> this you is have, a, this you have like to know a bit when of a play. Isn't, isn't going to work. You have to know that. So I, I made a post on Facebook. I'm just going to read it really quickly, though. You know, I heard too much about self-defense and they should be innocent. First of all, how about this? Dude was 14. He can't legally have a gun. He can't legally shoot that motherfucker. I don't care whose gun it is. He can't shoot it. Yeah. At that if he's grown or not. So his, his mom is allegedly a registered firearm owner. Cool for her. F- F- FYID gone. Bitch, you in jail. You deserve it. All right. She texts her son to come in with the weapon. Self-defense dies after you shoot him in the back. He runs, shoot him back two more times. All right. You're a trash ass parent for telling your mama, for uh, telling your son to shoot him and keep shooting him. All right. You also a trash ass parent for telling your son to go shoot the girlfriend because she's a witness. You super fucked up for that. All right. Uh, first of all, well, well, secondly, who in their right mind eats at Maxwell anymore, bro? Them greasy ass fries, the poison, the onions. At that bro. time of night, like, bro, I'm, period. I'm cool. Yeah, if you ain't going on, on by Expressway and Roosevelt, Hungry people. don't go nowhere, bro. Don't go on Independence. You know, that was a staple. Don't go on 116th. Don't go to this motherfucker on 127th. Don't go to that motherfucking spot, bro. It's, it's garbage, okay? Uh, don't argue with women. Men, don't argue with women you don't have relations with, bro. What was the argument even about? It don't even matter. I don't even know. That's, I'm why, saying, I, like, that's why I feel like they, like, they knew what? each other. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You said uh, you think they knew each other. Yeah. All citizens are ready to though. If, if a motherfucker you don't tell you shut up before you fuck you up, you know you can't beat him. You need a weapon to beat him. Shut the fuck up. But you right. know we, especially one, Chicago one, girls. One second, one second. All right. Uh, unless you're a trained fighter or you got your CCL and it's on you. What you is that? What saying? is what is that what? Part. CCL. I don't know what that is. Concealed, uh-huh. and carry, concealed and carry license. 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 Okay. CC. You said concealed, it too fast. CCL, all right. License. Uh, dude must punch like a bitch too though. He definitely had to hit her twice. Any woman. Any woman. Not saying I know this. There's no stats, no data on this. Right. <laughs> Clear myself. <laughs> I've hit men before and knock teeth out and have them sleep. I don't know if you hit a woman. It's, it's, it's really like you had hit the motherfucker three times, bro. You probably shouldn't be fighting. You think he was holding back, though? I don't think so. He, he came. No, no. He, 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 he drew all the way back. He did what he's not. Twice. Mm. Just yeah. like Dredd's fight. Like, uh, with Terrence and Darby. He like Terrence and Darby in there, bro. Uh, did it look drunk to you? They are, everybody out here high, bro. But, but you know what I'm he, saying? He, like, he you, do you think like he was like inebriated like from what you what He looked a little high. But when, when, when you get <laughs> amped up, I don't know about y'all. I don't give a fuck how fucked up I am. If I get amped up, if I put a bear on my back, I'm sober quick. at least five minutes. Adrenaline quick. It's over, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think the mom should get life. For sure. I think the son should get at least 20 years, but now I'm leaning more toward fuck his life too, though, because he did this shit so easily. And because he's either, either that, because he's that stupid, just do the fuck he's told. Yeah. And he better hope he don't got no fucking gang affiliation on his record. But he don't cook his ass for that shit, though, because you know this already, though. You know what guns are, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and look here, y'all. If I got to between Maxwell and Wendy's, which is right across the street, I'm going to Wendy's. <laughs> Maybe you ain't got I'm Wendy's money. Let me get that motherfucking double stack no cheese, man. <laughs> I'm going to Let me have that. I'm not eating out of that. Yeah. I do. I do. I mean, again, uh, you know, we're we're taught to hate by people we love. Facts. Um, this this is this this is this child's mother. We have no clue how she has finished, helped. She's helped him kind of uh, wrap his mind around the world. We're well, we gonna have a conversation about. Also, saw, saw this uncomfortable, disgusting point. He need a man and he need a dad in his life. Okay, how about this, man? Fuck y'all for saying that. How about this? The parent that's there, somebody has to be accountable for that child's behavior. Somebody poured into that child. If it's the mother's toxicity that got this boy act like this, though, that's the problem too, though. Women out here talking about, and I ain't bashing nobody. We talking about how trash these men are in their 30s and 20s now, you know, and uh, their behavior is, is little mama type. Guess who the fuck they raised by? A little mama ass mama. Gives it to them, you know what I I'm do not disagree with that. I think I think it is fair to to kind of hold mothers and women accountable for our parenting styles. And this situation made me think, even if she said, yo, daddy, you know, hit me, shoot him. Like, would he have done it? Right. So it doesn't matter who the person is. Like, clearly he listens to his mom. She and had a better chance of running I'm going in there with my mama. You know what I'm saying? And me and dude would have had to squat. Eat something different. There you go. Eat so that's a go. good. That's a good point. Like I don't fists should not equal guns. I don't bring my daughters with me. Like if I if I walk to the uh, the gas station, I will walk with my what son. You walking for because it's right around the corner. Dry. No. No, she gonna lose that park. You know, park no, I got I got private parking. Oh, Whoa, park, 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 talk big. Talk yeah, yeah, boats but, and hoes. Boats and hoes. <laughs> yeah, hoe ass bro. <laughs> 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 but um uh I, the, the if I if I don't feel safe, no one will go. That's, but there are moments part. where I it's like all right, I'm taking my son with me because men treat me differently when I'm with my daughters than when they see a young man with me. Like right. it, it it just is yeah, what it is. It is. And so when it's when it's all of us, 
you know, like uh, my son's presence changes how men engage. He's like six one and then lean muscle. And plus, he's like, he's, yeah. he's six foot tall. <laughs> yeah, you know, from the back, him, you don't, from the back, you don't it, know if he's my boy. guy or <laughs> you turn around and you're like, all right, that's a child. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait a minute. What I say? Six year olds, they really don't get tired if they're doing any kind of physical activity. They don't. So, like, not man, at all. Sometimes you got, as an old man, you have to choose your battle. Like, bro, do I want to smoke this young boy? I'm an old boy. Man. Do I, I don't really want to smoke I'm, this I'm young talking, boy. Like, you know, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to come out on the, on the right side of the victory, yeah. but <laughs> these young boys is different, man. They, they Look, look, I got a good 30, 45 seconds. If I ain't took care of my business then, <laughs> good squabble. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole way. Good squabble. What are you going to fall out? You going to play yeah. possum? I got to no, go to the, to the go to move. The ground game. The ground game. Ground game. Ground game. Go there, what, there bro. Hold it, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Ch- what hey, last out. I'm 260. If I lay you, bro, you gonna feel it. Yeah, you gonna you gonna yeah. feel it. You when the last saying? time you was in a fight of mine? Oh, like a shit. like a fight. <laughs> Probably with one of my brothers. To be honest with you. Damn. Years ago. Yeah. Before you had kids. Yeah. 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 And I think mine's was maybe like right before the pandemic. His big dude's off his meds. It was just me and him I don't talking. Mean to laugh. It, for real, no, no, no. It's only because he was—he laughed at the station though, but he was on the rest already. <laughs> we, we, we just talking, right? He just flip out. He swing. Oh. I say, Ch- did Ooh. he connect? What hey, you? Hell no, boy. Slow motion. I say, what you just blocked him? <laughs> hey, dog. This is for you, bro. <laughs> 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 His mama say. He need his medicine. I got it for him right here. Two pieces of ass up. <laughs> bop, bop. You know what I'm saying? Get him. I say, yeah, 14, 13, let me get another car here. When they hear me fighting, my boy's coming. I don't ask for help ever. Ever ask for help. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I know I talk people and I know the fight. Aww. I never ask for help. Man, it made some squad car showed up, bro, from 25th district. Fourth. They say, that's my man's over there fighting, bro. They came through. Do it wasn't really comes. a fight. Hey, look. Well, it look. was an ass whooping. No bullshit. You know how big Haven is, right, Pauls? Whoa. <laughs> don't let me get away with that. I said, Pause. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he all, they doing a little, little, little sting, little shit, right? Right. Dude, come out. He's six, seven, six, <laughs> eight. Right? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's Haven, and he got like two little dudes. Right? <laughs> and he said, damn. He said, man. Damn. <laughs> It's he all said, right, bro. He said, he said, he at the top of the steps. He said, man, I'm going to grab this nigga by his ankles and try to <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. like, That's all I can do. He said, but if this nigga really <laughs> wanted to hurt me, it was over. He said, luckily, dude was cool and allowed him to put, he said, he allowed me to put the cuffs on him. He was like, because it was going to be a long day for him. <laughs> he man. had no taser? Cops don't what, have tasers? What? Let me tell you something, man. The more equipment they give us, the worse I feel in a physical altercation. That's why I laugh. You happy, bro? The cops that walk around with long ass guns. So you get to fight. What you do with the motherfucker, bro? You right. This gun or this gun? Which one you want? You know what I'm saying? Now you got a camera. You lose a camera, you get seven days. You got to take seven days of pay. You if you lose it during, no matter even. how it happens. Oh, okay. You lose it. You lose a taser. You take time. You got phones now. You lose a phone. You take time. Bro, stop giving oh. me this shit. Yeah. Stop my partner. Are you gonna put this in a couple complaints? I'm telling you something. We, we, yeah. I'm, no, I'm I, I hate when they, when bro, they give my us partner, all shit. we get all that shit, bro. We put, we, hey, we, put in her, we put in her Louis bag, bro. The tape in her Louis bag. Everything go her Louis bag. We don't give a fuck yeah. about that shit. We leave it in the car. That's why we I stay on the grid. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> I hate all that shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm cool. Yo, you <laughs> my got, best in my nine, man. I'm you good. got like a whole little fake scanner in your car. <laughs> well, can they, ambulance chasing. Well, can they tell that stuff? <laughs> going on, man. Hey, man, look. I just shut, I just shut spots down. Fuck me. Hey, well, that, look, look. that motherfucker Lies. taco story. Yeah, that's, that's class. That's, that's class. Up, bro. Yeah, it's all good, though. Shout out, Haven. <laughs> hey, look. Police. No bullshit. Look, I saw something that was super weird, and this is the age that we're in. This AI shit is I'm, getting, I'm hitting the I'm done with getting it. Out, of, out, of, out of control. There's an AI virtual girlfriend, and she literally has 15,000 people on her waiting list to be the boyfriend. How you feel about that? What does that mean, though? What right, is, so, like, so, yeah. What's the service? So the service is whoever this chick is. She she's a uh, and she ain't even doing nothing, yeah. dog. Some some white girl. Here, you know what? Let me. Let, I don't. I don't. I want. I, I forgot her name. I don't give a fuck about her name. But she. But it's, back, a, it's, it's a human being that created it. Yeah. No. It's no. Right. It's a real human being. Right. right? But they use AI. AI for her voice, so they can communicate with her, and AI responds back in her like voice. Like it's actually her. Like so it's actually her. Oh. She's put into some system, or whatever. Uh, her personality, her likes, wants, do's, don'ts. A fetish is all this shit though. So it's a real person. Her personality is an AI already. So she's just a face now. She's just sitting there right. looking pretty. Oh, so it's, it's like it's, the avatar version of yeah, her. Exactly. Okay. Right. So it's called uh, Forever Voices AI, right? They teamed up with uh, Karen Marjorie, right? She, and it's called a virtual girlfriend. I hate her name okay. for one. Yeah, Marjorie. That is Marjorie. Hilarious. So Marjorie is a ter- <laughs> terrible name. Let me be clear. Marjorie. Um, so I hate you, bitch. The Karen, the Karen AI, <laughs> right? You can, you can talk to her all day, all night. 
and this AI response. Some sick people out here, bro. That's sick as shit. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we do have professional cuddlers. How do you get to the pussy though from that? You don't. You don't. You don't. So, so we, what's the point then? Well, uh, so companionship. So I, I, I'll say this. I'll Shit be honest. Dead, huh? I am not. I am not. I am not okay with not hearing a human voice. I nice. am not okay with it. It is the most disturbing thing to have uh, connections with people just through words. Like I would prefer if if you don't like to talk on the phone, send me a voice message. Like the fact that we're okay with no human contact, some of us desire that. Like if I can't physically see you while we talk, I would at least like to hear your breath and that you are a human being. And a lot of people don't have access to com communication conversation anymore. Business wise, though, I, I do love it, right? First you week, would. first week, she made 72,000. That's nuts. 72,000 first week. She slated it. Y'all some losers, bro. And you know five what? Five million. It's women trying to date her too, though. Five million. It's men and women trying to date this motherfucker. I did more looking into it, bro. She got people lined up around the block. Damn. How I, many people can she handle? I don't want to. Hey. Hey. If, if, I, if, I can't, if I can't get the uh, home plate, if I, can't, if I can't motherfucker score a touchdown with you, if I can't fuck, I'm not trying to talk Is to you. Is that like ever? That, so that like long distance relationships. relationships. So, so that that long, Like long distance Because for all no, intents and purposes, it's long distance relationships. Very similar. Similar. So to your point, Fair. to your point, right? But it's, sex fit. Phone sex counts. Yeah, for sure. But look, look, to yeah, your I'm point, tripping. to your point, it says the chat you can't box have, you can't, you replicates. Can't have raw phone sex, though. Hold on, listen, listen, listen. It's listen, phone sex raw protected. The chat box replicates <laughs> I don't know. What is the it, influencers' it? personality. Sir, we're talking to you. Manual I don't care about none of that shit, bro. We're talking to you. Followers <laughs> raw, can it's feel it's like they are raw or protected, brother. The real person. Nice head, by the way. Thanks. It's raw. It's, it's phone sex raw protected. That's definitely raw. Hmm. I would say raw. Okay. Definitely raw. All right, cool. You can get it. I want, <laughs> no, no, because I want people to understand this, right? The chatbot hey, replicates. No, no. Understand these people, y'all some losers. But wait, all these losers. Y'all some losers. Yeah. We already don't, don't hey, young yeah. people. Yeah. Many... And young again. Y'all some goddamn losers, man. <laughs> no. And y'all paying for this shit too, though? Come on you now. You can't, great. You can't. We pay for every, we pay for all sorts. Again, phone sex. Mm hmm. Like, out of this is you know no, what happened, so this, this is, is no this, this different. This is the new girl six. This, this, this is the making of a bad movie. Somebody gonna see a person one day out in public, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna think that they're together. Yep, these weird ass people in these basements, all these motherfuckers, gonna, apps, all this shit. So I think you that just kidnapped bitch. So that's, it. that's the danger. You're done deal. I feel like that's the danger of using of using your person because now like people. Girl sick. My girl so sad. remember we had the uh, the New <laughs> York Times girl, girl uh, magazine with the artificial intelligence and yeah. the sex robots. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they purposely made their facial features uh, wow. wider and like less human like to help people not get confused with that is not a human. It's I think you made like going, a though. well. No, yeah, they're absolutely gone. Mm. But I think what to your point that if she has put herself as the AI, people can actually begin to believe that that human right there is the person I am in love with and not the the AI version. She don't know what y'all been talking about. This shit is weird to me. And this shit will be like my grandson. Well, this will be his bag. You know what I'm saying? And then his kids. These kids are never going to leave the house watching. I mean, we boy. have they're, virtual they're, assistants. They're we have gonna, virtual... Low key, low key, some never of these the kids house. may not ever have sex. Like the generation after my grandson... It's COVID fault, bro. Yeah, they, they, will, never, they will never actually have... You will have virtual sex and mm. be okay. You can't get that. That is so unfortunate. Facts. You can't get the motherfucker pregnant. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You can't get, get... No domestic is going to happen. Could you Facts. imagine never being touched again in life by anyone? Imagine the 123 year old virgin. Well, how old is this bitch again? Who said that she hadn't had a hug, though? Like just because you haven't had sex doesn't mean you haven't had intimacy and does, doesn't mean that you've never been It's nothing better touched. than sex, though. I, I don't disagree. I think that there are better ways to have sex. Wait, but... so sex or $2 million right now? What do you mean? Wait, so only somebody, one oh, time? Somebody offer some sex or $2 million? Who's sex? You can't... If you, if, okay, oh, I'm, taking, I'm taking my $2 million. If you could never, never have sex again or $20 million? Never have sex. Never Even have with sex myself? Again? Never have sex Ooh, again. Oh, shit. $20 million. That's life changing. So, so cel even self celibacy. Yeah, so yeah. I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't. No. Mm, mm, mm. no, 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 dirty socks, no dirty t shirt, no on purpose. no Vaseline, no rolls. So I can no never, shit, I can never bust again. I mean, you could, you just can't do it on purpose. You don't have a wet dream. Yeah, I mean, if, I, if, if I can still have like I've, a wet not, dream, then I'm taking 20 minutes. I've never had a wet dream. So you, you'll you beat your dick, you'll play with yourself uh, for the rest of your life. Instead of taking a and uh, take twenty million, you said twenty. You said twenty mil. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely jerking off for the rest of my life for twenty million. Well, I do this shit anyway, so it don't matter for the free. 
It's cool. Yeah, I'm I'll, 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 I'll be honest. Like, okay, I, man. I, I, love, I, love, I love physical closeness, so I don't like think that pound, I huh? could... Uh, <laughs> just say, say don't, 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 don't be my brother pulling correct. <laughs> you got guess. Don't be my nice. My Buddha whole brown. <laughs> that is the best line shit is ever, trash, bro. and it is so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's so accurate. And I feel like like usually rap lyrics, you got to like pretend like they real. Like, no, that is so real. My coochie pink, my Buddha whole brown. So I'm so I'm clear. So I'm clear. I need to be very clear on, on this. Yeah. Are you saying 20 mil and never try to have get an ejaculation? Yes. Never, no orgasm ever. No again. orgasm again. Yeah. You can walk around in, in a hoodie in the summertime. You can walk around in a suit <laughs> in a turtleneck in the summertime now, bro. Who, 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 who's gonna know that I jacked off? I already got my money. What if it's like uh what if it's like the little mermaid where you gotta give it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. motherfucker just cut my shit. Well, no, like like it, Damn. Like, it they take they take the essence of your orgasm and you never can like like they took uh what you call it mojo. A voice. Yeah, Little they voice. took Ariel's voice, they took uh Austin, Austin Powers, Powers mojo. mojo. You gotta give it I up. I would I would have to lean into, like you say, other areas of intimacy and, and get like uh, what? Um, he don't even know. I, I don't. I don't <laughs> I, ain't no ass eating a, a pussy you either, bro. No sex period. Look at his face. None. <laughs> ain't none of this shit happening. 20 mil? 20 mil? Or you, you can stick your else? tongue in a uh, in a uh, Bavarian cream donut though. Hey, you don't go for glory hole. You can't do any, no, no glory you holes, no nothing, bro. Hole. No glory, no page 43 in Jet Magazine. None of that shit. Who gets does my family benefit? Do they get to have sex? Like, <laughs> are we all sex? Yeah, like, I was, <laughs> y'all gonna be mad. You know, oh, I need oh, somebody I was, on this bullshit train with me. <laughs> with 20 mil. You know nah, bro. 20 mil, cold hard cash right away. How old are you? I'll take the sacrifice, bro. I'll, I'll take the sacrifice. Take 20 mil? Yeah, I'll take I'm definitely taking 20 mil. Yeah. I'm, uh, nah, love I'm living a good life, man. Love on me. Yeah. My dick is the number, but get me in trouble. <laughs> my whole goddamn life. Your poor penis. Hey, I'm saying, don't give me trouble. I'm saying, no. This little motherfucker has been in trouble from the jump, goddamn. Give me twenty mil. <laughs> give me goddamn twenty mil. Put your man. penis in an orange jumpsuit, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked up. Oh, no. that's funny. Y'all are stupid. All right, so in, in, in kind of kind of in that same vein, man. Um, Larsa Pippen. All right, now, and you know we kind of. Why she stay, alive, stay with this Chicago shit, and I guess it is kind of Chicago because Pippen, Jordan, Marcus. You know, what I'm saying it's my guy. Shout out to Marcus. Why you um, doing shit? You stupid man. But it's wild that she got fifty percent of his pension. His use retirement. Bugatti. That bitch use Bugatti. Yeah. Bro. Now, wait a minute. They're divorced. He's already paying her. How is she even legally able to do this? Well, the divorce just got finalized. Like they they, they had made the agreements, and I think in the state of California, usually you why California though. Well, they got married in California. California yeah. bogus on all that. Yeah. They, they yeah. married bogus. Yeah. So yeah. I think I, every time we hear these stories, the first thing bitch. I think people should go to <laughs> is like, where is it that I should get married? Uh-huh. Like, what jurisdiction? Because yeah. that's what your that's what your contract you calls. You have thousand wives. Really? No, yeah, for sure. Make that up though. But you have a bunch Stop of bitches. Stop making us stuff. You have a bunch of for real. We're gonna have to have like fact checkers at the bottom of our shit with y'all. <laughs> what are more sending people all wives though? Huh? What are Mormons of all them wives? Utah. I think Utah. <laughs> but I mean, if you don't legally marry them, then you, I mean, you can't so legally have six. multiple wives. Yeah. You can call someone your wife. Mm-hmm. It's a, uh, what is it called? A non-contractual marriage. Okay. Which I'm cool with. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool with being married and not signing a contract. Why are you still trying to take all this man money? What you mean? It, whatever. Uh, honestly, I protect His people's kids rights. kids are grown. Protect people's rights. If if she has a right to it, why shouldn't she have access? She wasn't to in the gym with him. I'm not okay with Dear that. Drew Peterson. She's a terrible person. You were that. right. She's a terrible person for executing her rights. She's a terrible person. You in a union, you don't even execute your I, rights. I think I think she has, I don't care enough. Well, she, she does. She's the type really? of chick though that, that don't, don't, that don't want to be irrelevant, bro. She don't want to be irrelevant, dog. She don't. She doing everything to fucking stay relevant. And they have saying? a pod- Marcus and her have a new podcast. Trash. I did listen to it. I did. It's so. I mean, I swear. Do y'all think Scotty Pippen listens to it? That has to be so painful. I doubt it. I think pe- people give Scotty too much credit. He don't. I don't even give a fuck about that. No, I don't. Mm. She was whole when she was with him. People know this already. Well, she was saying that he you was said. the one out here stepping out on her. Bro, she, they, they deserve. She's from Skokie, bro. <laughs> but no, I, I just think it's kind of trash. Like at the end of the day, okay. What's trash about her? If it's legal for her to get it, what is? Help me understand. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's right. You know how many motherfuckers have been locked up? You know what I mean? Because it's legal. And like drinking on a public way, pisses. They go piss to on public way. Like, yeah. come on, man. That's, that's like, stupid. at the end of the day, like, look, what you, 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 you got enough. Like, let me, ha- you, you keeping my fucking name. Give me my fucking name back. There you go. That's what? the thing with that, though. It's, it's hers, though. Give it's up, give legally her name, though. hers. If you don't want him no more, 
give him his name back. You gave the ring back, or did you keep the ring too, bitch? But she probably kept the ring on top of that. You know, this is my opinion, though. What when you're done with somebody, you don't you don't want to be with them, you're done with them, give everything that connects y'all back to each other. Y'all don't even need to be there, for real. You know what I'm saying? Now, in the same vein, but a different note. Ooh, that boy good. Uh, how about this? Be mindful where you marry and who you marry. Now, if she can go yeah. get that bag from him because it's her right, fine. I think it's trash, you know what I'm saying? I think the laws have been set up, certain laws have been set up to benefit women uh, more so than men. Marriage is one of the things, because I believe, you know, titles fuck things up. It's how you can be all lovey-dovey and cool as boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, but the minute you become wife and fiance, their expectations of each other change. Like, you, you shouldn't do this anymore. How many relationships just, is she in? She's a wife and she got a fiance? This, For this sure. It's crazy, man. It, yeah. it, it's, it's unreal, man, you know? So you just have to... <laughs> some, somewhere, the, wrong, the right man has got to be in the wrong situation for this to change. You know what I'm saying? Say like it was Joe Biden or, or Barack <laughs> Obama or somebody politically uh, and heavily influential, influential got the situation or jam like that though and had to get up out of it. I bet you all the change. Like the tent laws here. We have tent meters now in our district because somebody mm-hmm. kid got in trouble with tent meters. They tent meter readers. Uh, the tent laws change all the time because these politicians have kids. They get pulled over all the time. They do dumb shit. They never follow the laws. They don't want them getting in trouble. So you change laws. The right man has got to get in trouble for, for all the marriage laws to change. But the problem is it's 50, 52 states or whatever like that. So it's like, shit got to get better, bro. So I think contracts in certain states uh, reflect the economy and the needs of that state. So a place like California, where you have lots of people in Hollywood and people with all this money, they're going to create some... Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to create laws to protect access to getting, to, you know, to getting a bag. So here in Illinois, our marital contracts don't have the same kind of like uh, financial parts to it. And so I think depending on where you are, like you definitely look into where you get married and how the laws are constructed for the sharing of your property. Don't because marry. those things, or, or as, as well as to, child support. To, to your point, maybe she's been very strategic this whole time. Yes. Right. Why, why are you getting married in California? Right. You're from Skokie. He plays in Chicago. You could have got married in Chicago. What did they get? They they got married years ago. It's a, I mean, people he never do, played. People in people LA. do people do why, people do destination weddings. People that, like just true. just because just because they got money doesn't mean that they're not allowed to. You know, like of course we want who who wants to get married on the but you, uh, you, on, but, on the shores of Lake but, Michigan. Me. Like, no, 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 no. Me. I mean, but you, you can you file do. for your license me. in the state that you're from uh, and, and get married wherever you I'll want. Get married to. On, on Madison Pulaski, bro, out west. There are so when, 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 this, when you when Everything. you get married in Vegas, you can't sign something here in Chicago. You got to be in Vegas for X number of hours. Your license is in Vegas, and yep. that's where you're legally yep. married. You cannot sign a license in Cook County. You can get married in Cook County and sign it here and have your that's nuptial what I'm somewhere that's else. What, that's all I'm saying. But then at the same time, there are some people that don't want to. It's just like I don't want I don't want that to be our wedding. I want our wedding and our marriage to be all in one. That means that we sign all of the things. Here here in this jurisdiction, Aruba or Jamaica or whatever, people. That's how you know. So, so up then, there. what people should do is look at the laws. Yeah. Look at the laws. Thank right? you. Read, as y'all say, people don't read. Yeah, look at the laws and and, and or listen really to it that. on audiobook. Please. You know what what I mean? is going on? It doesn't cost that much. Um, here's another thing. Let me ask y'all this though. Right, there was a, a young lady at a graduation. She snatches the mic from the, uh, let's say, professor that was calling people's names out, right? Snatches the mic and says, you didn't give me my just due, right? Mm-hmm. Right. I feel away. Hey, rest for the mic was so funny, bro. I feel away. Oh, the old white lady. At the <laughs> end of the day. You know the whole story before you comment? I do. Okay. I do. Right? Oh, she, she, fired. she said that um, she didn't let her, she didn't pronounce her whole name and she stole her moment, right? That's not the whole story. Well, hold on. Let me finish from the story I got. Right? You always getting half ass stories. <laughs> At the end of the day, so sorry for you. Who gives a fuck about you having that moment? Get the fuck out of here. When the last time you hold walked on, across hold, the stage? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No one actually cares about. No one's gonna remember <laughs> your fucking name. No one actually fucking Says cares. Says the man who starts the show off. My name is AMO. We got me one your hurt. Say what? Say what you want to spell my name right. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck about you I'm, not. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Saying my entire name. Guess what? I didn't pay for this shit. No one in here is going to fucking remember me. I'm moving on What's to the important? next. The degree of my name. Because that's more conversation. Okay, all right. That's it, right? And for you, go crazy, okay? for you to 
arm wrestle the chick. First Protect of all, black women because he on some bullshit. No, no. First of all, I love the fact that you, you know, you that behavior, her behavior you, was trash. You, over you, that you manhandled the white woman. Love that. Right? I don't give a fuck about that either, though. But what I'm saying is, it wasn't that fucking important. It was not that fucking important. Okay, so uh, it's not that fucking important. Now, if you mispronounce my name, maybe I will say something. I'm not walking off, then coming back, arm wrestling you with the mic to say, hey, <laughs> arm wrestling. you know what I'm saying? I got 15 syllables in my name and I want to get them all off. What does she say? Bef- what, what, what does she say was happening at that graduation? What does she say was happening? You tell me. Everybody knows I'm, I'm, that right. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm asking you because I said, right. you know the whole story. That's what I said. You tell me. Okay, so um, the, the, the person who was holding the microphone, every graduation is different. We had, uh, you had a ticket at UIC with your name on it and they had virtual readers. So you would put your ticket in and they would, the virtual reader would say your whole name and it would come across the screen and you would walk across. So no human being was doing it. In this instance, a, uh, a person from the school was holding the microphone. The person who was graduating would come across. They would uh, hand you the microphone for you to say your name and you would get your degree and you would walk So off. you got to say your name. You got to say your name. Okay. This administrator had uh, had shown that for the students of color, she was snatching the mic. People, people, students of color were not able to finish being on the microphone. So she had let certain students say what they needed to say. And then when other students were walking through, she would take the microphone. So when this young lady came other, up, other meaning white, other students of color, they don't make it okay though. It, other students of color were getting the mic snatched away from them before they could finish. And right. so she was like, all right, what you're not about to do what you're not about to do is have me stand up here while you let all these other students say their name, their major, what's happening afterwards, and I can't even say my fucking name. She got 15 syllables in her name. It, it don't fucking matter. No it one, doesn't matter. No if, you're an admin, if you're an administrator and you and you have a, a standard of equity and every student gets their opportunity to say what they need to say on the mic. Now, if they said you have 30 seconds and you've gone beyond 30 seconds, if there was no timing, that's that's poo-poo on you for your production. Every student, if you say you get to say your name, you get to say your major and what's going on. Was that the situation or are you talking about that your? Is, that is what she said happened. Okay, all right. That's her version. That is that is what she communicated. That's her version. Okay, let's be honest. But let's, let's be transparent. Whole stories, okay? That's her version. Uh, cool. I'm not mad at her for doing that. Uh, but now, in her moment, which is her moment, how is she going to be remembered? Uh, for, for, some of thing, us, for, for some of us, well, we've seen kids uh, not get, not get there. That was a terrible question, by the way. Well, we've seen, <laughs> we've, we've seen <laughs> graduates way, of color not being, rhetorical, like, their, their, uh, life, their, what you call it, being, man, fuck this. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Number one. Get in your bag. I'm going to stand up or, for every black woman that's crossed the microphone. stage. Yeah. Fix the mic. Get in your bag. That's, cro- that cro- every, that's every crossed the woman? stage. And yes, why, because why I'm a black, black woman. Because I fucking said so. Okay, fool. Fuck that bitch. All right, then. so that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so here we are. Your, your here, 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 here we are. Here we are in this space where we are going through graduation and we've seen young black women and young black men having their degrees withheld because of these white administrators not liking their hair, not liking that they waved, not liking that they want to say their whole name, that this has been a thing for a couple of years now. And so we've seen in multiple instances from every level, from high school to bachelors to graduate. And so it's wild to me how we talk about white and black issues and and us standing up for ourselves. And now we have this issue during graduation and we just going to erase it like it was just about her saying a name. And it's a bit bigger than that. It's it's actually, it's it's hugely greater than that. I just simply said... How is this moment going to be remembered? Before you went to a wild ass tangent, I said, How's it going to be remembered? By you call her, it wild, her? I call it what it's it is. De- definitely wild. Just because you say it's wild. Fight with the old it's not wild. <laughs> what are you talking about? For what? Your you say it's fight wild. Fight with the old white bitch. Necessary. Bitch, hit the gym. By, bitch, any, by any means necessary. Now, now, now I can pick this fucking moment apart if you want. You don't, you don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. It it's Do so, it. so many ways, you know what I'm saying? You are a young black woman. You are the backbone of black society, right? Man, get out of here, yeah, dude. Don't, don't, don't do it. You, you all black. You all interrupt black me, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm in it. Trash. Who, who won? Who won? Who won that moment? Trash. Who won that moment? Then? Look, who, look who we talking about. When, when that bitch go ask for a job, that's what happened, though. And she's not a bitch. That, when that bitch go ask for a job, <laughs> guess what, though? Right. One bitch guess what? for another bitch, though. It's cool. Guess what? I, I, somebody, that somebody's gonna hire her. That somebody's gonna hire her. I saw. Yeah, that hire. somebody's gonna hire she, she, her. She, it's, it's fine though. So what are we talking she about? Her own it's cool though. I hope, I hope you feel good. You about say. You she say she did. Moment, you say Why she did. Why are we talking about her now? 
You said she did. Why would you talk about her right now? Why? Because somebody decided to put it on the show, right? Because she wrestled an old ass Karen. We're going to be a Karen tomorrow. A Karen after that. Karen next year. Any, why, why do we know her right whatever, now? Why is she on the show whatever, right now? Whatever why people need to do, no, whatever sister, people I need to you, do. I love you. I'm now you love her. her. I never disrespect you. Now you love her. You a hater. I'm playing. I am. I'm hating. I'm hating on Kayla right now. I swear to God. Love you. Got you graduated. Thank you. Yeah. We love you. Fuck you too. You'll you'll do great. Keep standing up for yourself. Your moment guess what? If I fight with a goddamn Karen. And she is never going to repost this. And won't even know you saying this. Fight that goddamn Karen again. Fight it again. You do this every day. Wait, Karen. You know you stay. You stand up in front of microphones and say what the fuck you need to say. Get out of here, dude. Kick right now. No, uh, anybody with a microphone. Anybody with a microphone can say what they need to say. Boats and hoes. Ho and hoes. and hoes ass bro. Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. And hoes ass bro. Anybody with a microphone. Anybody with a microphone. You have an opportunity to say what you need to be. Say what you need to say. You made the shade room though. You ruined my time. You made the shade room. Then you. You made TMZ. I can't wait till you, you make, make it. You made World Star. Come on. He, he made it already. Come on, I can't wait till you make it. <laughs> he made it already. Finish it, Rome. Yeah. That's old. Uh, when, when was that? Yeah. What year was this? Man, the seal. When you're when you're when you're, when you're feminist. Got you. What year was that? This year. This year. You was what it. What you talking about? Yeah. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Stop playing with me. Who? Me and O. Who? Exactly. <laughs> Who? Who went on that boat, though? Yeah. Who went on that boat? I'm at Jim Arena. You went on the boat one time. One time. Go on the boat. Yo, I'm a star ass. You go on the boat. One time. You can't even float. Here. Man. Let's find a way to do it. You don't get your hours on the boat. Give it. You are a star. You don't know. Show me your ass. Give us a fridge. Give us a fridge. With more men and women. Talk about them. You wasn't on the boat. That's all right, though. Oh, shit. I I, 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 I ain't fighting no white chick though. Yes. Oh, my, my, my moment. Yes, you are. Man, the look. System is. <laughs> the system of white woman. Yeah, shout, shout out to everybody who feels they need to stand up for themselves. Trust yourself. Yeah. And do what you need to do. Because that's what, uh, that's what it takes. Oh, shit. Do y'all want to... Uh... Hey, I want to see, the, I wanna see the, the AI Karen fight the AI black chick that graduated, bro. That'd be interesting. <laughs> like, do do y'all want to do ghetto spelling bee or do hey, y'all want to do Chicago? Hey, that motherfucker doing the fight, bro. Huh? Did a hat fall off doing the fight? No, 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 no. no. That, that, that bitch was locked in with, with her, her lace front. How you struggle with a ninety year old bitch? Try to pull the microphone. Look, she should have uh, let every student say their name like they was like she let everybody. She should have, but she didn't. So that's what she, she get. You run up, get done up. We know you. I'm okay with it. We know yeah, you. I'm, but, I'm okay. I'm okay. But, with that. but, the but period, it, was, it was extra as fuck because all I'm saying is my girls always extra as fuck. Get look, out of here, why? Dude. No, y'all not. What, what I'm I saying is this: peaceful. Y'all calm. I still don't even know her fucking name. With all, even with all that shit, I still <laughs> don't, don't know care, your fucking you name. Who ruined her moment? Her or the white woman? Who ruined her moment? But you don't care about it. Who ruined her moment? Did she ruin her moment? Right. So here we go. You don't even care. You don't care about it. So I don't. I think I think it's I think it's trash. I just think it's trash right. as fuck. What's I think trash? It's, I think it's trash as it's trash as fuck to say, oh, you ruined my moment, right? This isn't a moment. The moment is to you. The, to me, the moment is I've sacrificed so much to get this degree. But you don't have a you not you haven't even been in that position. Um, what? You graduated? No, you yeah. haven't been in a position where somebody's violated you in that. Have so you not, if I snatch your not? mic right now. Nope. You make it terrible. If I snatch your mic right now, terrible point. And stop letting you terrible know, point. Like, what would you do? No dead ass. You if, no I, violent, bro. if I snatch hey, bro. your mic right now and no, say, nobody shut the fuck you, up. Dog. Nobody's ever disrespected you, huh? I've been disrespected. But if so I stopped your mic right now, how'd if I react? pulled your mic. How'd you react in that moment then? Shit, shit. I'd turn up. I ain't gonna lie go. to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. So why you hate her moment then? I think it's just, I think it's weak as fuck, right? I just, I just do, right? When we're talking about graduating, right? It's such a big deal in the black community, right? Because we've been taught that you cannot be successful unless, unless you have a degree, right? At the end of the day, there are a million ways to get money. I don't, like, the degree does not validate you. And to say that you stole my moment, no. No one gives a fuck about your moment disrespect. but you. This is, like, some people have different levels of disrespect. For sure. And, right. again, that, 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 trick, that triggered her. That and triggered her. Yeah, like, her, 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 her having her name mispronounced might not have garnered that, right? I thought it was ass, but If, if somebody matter. mispronounced her name. But somebody snatching the mic away from you might actually make you feel some kind of way. So, like I said, it, it, it would be different. Like if I had the board and I cut your mic off. I'm far from a Harvard student. I just had the boss do it. So if, that's if what she I, did. Okay, wow. quote and hold. All right. Yeah. Right. But if, if I turned your mic down, you might not. Da da da. But if I grabbed your mic from you, that might elicit a different, more aggressive response. Like so, so you're not gonna let me finish talking. Right. All right. So, so I, I get it because we got microphones in front of us and nobody takes nobody gets their mic snatched. I, I, 
fight with hands. I don't fight with old people. Push them over. Okay, well, in that moment, they were equals because they both had on their garb. Right. So these are these are intellectual peers. <laughs> Lady math. <laughs> Lady math. Yep. <laughs> I count them how I see them. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me ask y'all this. I'm one unstyled. One That's what we should name this. Uh, <laughs> so I'm unstyled. Um, if you could follow someone around for a day, who would you follow and why? My 16-year-old daughter, because she be on bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see everything this little girl doing. Hey, boo. I want to be on your heels. Okay, I like that. I like that. I, uh... mm. My 16-year-old daughter, <laughs> because if she catches me behind her, she won't know who he is. Nah, Joe. I will, I will follow. I will have one to follow R. Kelly around for a whole day, bro. No. In jail? No. Before jail or in jail? We, we, before jail. Okay. okay. I see before where you jail. going. I, I want to follow R. Kelly around for a whole day, bro, so I could see everyone that was a part of this bullshit, bro. Mm. Everyone was a part of this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I want to see all the little girls he was with. You know why? So I get their name. Go tell your fucking parents. Tell them their parents fucking care about them. You know what I'm saying? I want to see his phone, what he was sending them. I want to see his, his handmaid's assistance, how they treated him, knowing he had just finished doing some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Some illegal shit. I would, I would, first of all, and also, I would love to see him read a book, if you actually read or not. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be in the studio with him saying, crazy, it's, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So, I would like to see him uh, write songs. I would love to see him be a diva. I heard he was difficult to work with. You know what I'm saying? I would love to have been on tour with him and Hov to see how much they didn't get along, but, how, <laughs> how, but also how complicit Best Hov was in the, the same kind of fucking behavior, but because there's some terrible stories about uh, Hov out there too now. It, it, it's just coming out now. Seven. So can you explain? Why, can too, you right? explain why you were dealing with older men? At, at she was a little fast tail, so yeah, fast ass, little fast ass, little girl. Uh, so the the spirit of Chicago. Oh was, shit! Now it's the spirit of Chicago. It Wrong was men, like, little girls. Yeah, that's what it was. Ask Lane Tech took all our bitches. All Man, of them. Like, I mean, <laughs> all was, of them. Grown men took all our women. It was nothing to have college dudes pulling up to, uh, I to never, high school parties. I, I never did that. But I feel like we we all were so uh, we were like in the in the same group. So if you graduated from that's high trash. school. And you come back the next summer. Why are you coming back to your high school? Uh, this is Chicago in the 90s. That's lame, though. Yeah, yeah. super lame. You know, I, cool I left lame. I never looked back at all. I remember, so my homegirl, we, we did go to R. Kelly party, right? And so. Oh, uh, oh shit. Oh, y'all. Yeah. We were, uh, oh, I, had, I had a car then. So I had to be like in the junior year. Because she was working at Ever, Ever Black. Ever Black Plaza, um, 95th yeah, and Western. At, uh, was it Coda? One of the, one of the, one of the stores that, that R. Kelly used to shop in all the time, right? To, shout out to everybody who used to wear Coogee. Um, that was a terrible design, by the way. It was horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. Horrible. I had a couple cool just said, wow, so you want the East Coast so bad. We went to this party, and so we walk <laughs> in, and it's women everywhere. Grown women, titties out. Mind you, we're like 16, 17 years old, and she was like, I don't think this party is for us. I said, yeah, no, nah, I think we should leave. <laughs> like, we, we literally didn't get two to three steps inside the doors. One door open, go in, another door open, and it was just, Boy, it was debauchery. Factory. And so we're both athletes, you know, like we're both like wholesome girls. She was like, Mark Kelly invited me to a party. Oh, oh naive. Here's yeah, we, we, we were kids. Yeah. We were we were kids. We stayed in Rock Roll McDonald's. We were kids. But Facts. other than that, I mean, I did I did chase this 19-year-old dude down. I think up. I was like 15 years old. You are a stalker. So I mean, you, but he lived on my wait. block and we went to grammar school together. So see, in my head, we were kind of equals. You know what I mean? Like we went you to the same. You in third, room. he's in eighth. Question, Didn't though. matter though. We went to the same school. <laughs> do, you, do you see some of the same behaviors in your one daughter that you see in yourself as a shorty? Because you know you have some days where you worry. You know what I'm saying? And then you, you don't have to talk about if you don't want to, but um, it, sometimes you get what you, sometimes as parents, yeah, no, you get, I definitely you get feel like my mom, my mom didn't know anything I was on. And I also don't think that she was too interested. You know what I mean? Like my mom nah, just yeah. stayed, just stayed working mom. and, you know, like, but I also realized that they, they came from an, an era where age wasn't really a conversation. Yeah, my true. grandmother was 16 when she got pregnant. The dude lied about how old he was. He was actually more was like four, middle forties than he was in his early twenties. He must look good then. I mean, yeah, black, yeah, black don't crack. Right. So, so she had her children with an older man. Um, it wasn't really uncommon for men yeah. to have significantly younger wives or mothers of their children. 
we were raised by baby boomers. And so like that wasn't, nobody was protecting kids. And it didn't like, start Simeon, with Like Simeon, the, 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 man, people, my, the, I had I can a coach. remember when. Yeah, I had a coach. <laughs> D- uh, Buddy was fucking a weirdo. I ain't going to say his name, but you know who the fuck you are. You say his name, this. fuck him. Was it Lane Tech? No, it was at, at, at Simeon. Say his name. So, uh, oh, fuck. Coach Carter. <laughs> say his motherfucking name. I'm not going to say his name. This creep, uh, he was like, yeah, he, he knew my daddy. He was like, yeah, you know, tell, tell your dad that, um, that you're sleeping over, you know, such and such house. And he was like, I got us a, uh, I got us a hotel room for your birthday. <laughs> and I was like, what? Us meaning you and him? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? He just got married. He just had a baby. Mm-hmm. And so I gave, I gave the piece of paper to my father. I never saw that dude again. I saw him walking to my father's, <laughs> my yep. father's funeral. Yeah. I saw him walking to my father's funeral. Oh, I was like, fuck you, nigga. I, I knew in some circumstances that I was being extra. Like the dude that was 19, I was on him for like maybe like a year. Like, you scary. You da, da, da. Yeah, he you, was like, you gonna just throw press them? Yeah, I'll call him all sorts of, but mind Why you. Why women do that though to men? I'm be, saying no. Uh, uh, you don't take rejection well at all. You are, we're, we're empowered. And, and, that, and that's funny, right? To your question. No, 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 cut you off, though. no, no be, because it just hit me right now, right? Whoa. Well, um, when you told a story about the little girl pressing your son. Yeah. You were that little girl. Yeah. I mean, but I was, that, I was that to an older guy. Right. Not not to somebody my age. Doesn't matter. No. I, I'm, I'm just pressure. saying like, this is not a, <laughs> it is. Um, this is, this, these aren't two, these aren't two kids. This for all intents and purposes is an adult man. Right. He should, he should have the wherewithal to be like, look, little girl, I told you to stop. Right. But we're also talking about don't a, stop, a 19 year old stop, and a 15 year old in Chicago in the 90s. I want to do the Chicago cards. Let's, let's do that. Let's ask Nippy though. I like the I like the box yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ask Nippy. Yep, yep, yep. In in in, in, oh. in the building, in in the building, and you're not gonna get any of these right. But hey, that, that accent, I've been trying to practice the accent for how many years now? Hey, I still can't get it. That accent was is crazy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I can't get it. I can't get it at all, baby. <laughs> baby. What up, babe? Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, so this is, um, what's the name of the Revolt. game? Oh, shit. Don't worry about it. Uh, this is Chicago Card Revoked. Um, again, we're doing work with her. Uh, I want y'all to go get this. It's fun as hell. Super fun. Play with your kids. Play with your guys. Whoa, whoa. The whole nine. What the fuck is you doing over here, bro? This, <laughs> <laughs> this is an infomercial right now, okay? Uh, I miss R. Kelly for following you around. Need a yeah. <laughs> we are, so we will get better at this. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to shoot one, and it's going to be- Wait a minute. This does not count. It gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I think it's too much today. The, the, the young lady, you man, uh, created this, this card game. It's dope as fuck. It's fun as fuck. And it is. it's all about Chicago. Played at uh, Woodlawn. All right, so, uh, question. Question. Watch it. Message. If a bitch done lost it, she must be from where? South, South, South. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. You already know what it is. You laughing from right. the hips. <laughs> Final answer. If a bitch done lost it, she must be from Hosted. Shout out to uh, everybody that grew up on Hosted. Yeah. Out South. Okay. Yeah, he, she's awesome. South. Though. Okay, we don't call it a freeway or highway. People from Chicago, Chicago call it a what? E-way. It's an E-way. E-way. Yeah. E-way, God damn it. Okay. Um, We're out west with it. I'm playing. Where is Stock Stadium located? Off what Off what red line stop? 35th. There we go. Oh, you said Sox. Mm-hmm. You heard it, fam. I won. I'm okay. playing. Um, <laughs> what, what community does Barack Obama have his house in? Oh, that's High Park. It's High Peasy. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, the street Jeffrey is considered where in Chicago? East, east. over east, over east, over east, and there is an east side. We got a whole like east it side. Is. It I is. I live but, on east, but no one says I'm from the east side unless you're talking to an out south person. Yeah. People will say like over that's true. East. People will say uh, oh, oh, east, east, east of east Whatever. of the Dan Ryan. That's what people say. But if you're talking to a motherfucker from up north or or um, you think about out west, they just say oh yeah. east. I, I, no, they say I'm from out south. But when you, when two South Side people are talking, I don't know, I'm I'm from over east. We knew we knew the South Side was different because when uh, when Shorty told you she's from over east, you was like, I ain't never come to see you. Period. <laughs> it's Period. wild over there. Period. Never okay. come to see you. What is a what is a rat? A thot. A chick. So this is the generation divide. Like, is this a younger a snitch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. But we don't call like what do we call what do we call a, a snitch? Snitch. A snitch. 
But like, I feel like that's not what we used to say when we were in like high school. When we didn't know word for it though, yeah. just snitch. Yeah, I, you know. He told. Yeah, you know. it was. Yeah, yeah he, we, he, we, he never, we never, like, we never, we never said rat. We nope. never said rat. Um, because the first thing I thought was like, "Who rat? What are rats? What are rats? What are rats? Who hey. rat? Who rat? Who's mom? What are rats? What are rats? What are rats? <laughs> Why do we used to dance to that derogatory? Who rat? Who Who the hoes? What the hoes? Who? Yeah. Who's hoes? But see now, <laughs> in, in 2023 though, now she all this shit do coming, it. coming to light she though. She got to make her own do it. People just go crazy over that. There's some all holes in this, this house. house. There's some and holes then all the holes that come out. Holes in this house. Yeah. Yeah. I beat that bitch, that bitch to the back. Oh, there you go. You know what I'm saying? You got to big up. There ain't never be nobody with a bastard. What is Pastor's hood? I want to fuck you with it. Yeah. Bro, these are terrible. These are terrible. We was wild. Hey, man. So this is the Corner Combo, man. Episode 150. Three. Yeah. Boats and hoes, baby. Boats uh, and hoes. 24, Damn. July 1st. July 1st, 124. Look for your promos, your inboxes, or your page. It's going down. It's going to be crazy. What's Special that? guests pulling up. Shout out to Ernest Krim. Shout out to Dion uh, Dawson. Dion Dawson. Um, and shout out to Kelsey Yogi. Shout out to AB, man. Shout out to my goddamn self. Fuck you, man. Now, what a oh, full fest right after that. Full fest right after that. Right South, after that. Uh, South Stewart. We're going to have a good time. We it's are very, outside. We Ample got, parking. We got a, a, a beer garden, cigar lounge. We got two stages. Shout a dozen Martez. DJs. Yeah. Bring your own everything. It's going to be a vibe. We got two stages this year? We got two stages. We got the Soul Selector uh, beer Fest. garden. And then we got the main stage by, by Diverse City. So it's, it's Which stage we get on? Uh, both All of them. them. All of them. All the time. We out, man. It's the Corner Combo. Hello. Peace, y'all. Y'all got something to say a bitch on my I'm not gonna edit none of that show. No. We are denying none of that. Exactly. So you are here. I was on the corner. <laughs> <laughs>